fair. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy, Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This will make sure y'all don't get lost. Hmm. 
Well, might as well make good use of the extra. Mm, Russian Papa won't do you no good. Whoa! They got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait. Oh, uh, what's a kill? A moment knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Oh, oh I mean, uh, welcome. I can tell you all about the area. Want to help out with some varmints? Appreciate it. You boys are a brave bunch. Appreciate it. Make sure y'all go prepared. Good rest. Should be able to. Want to go check it out? What is it? She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa. Hmm. Huh. Looks like we found our first targets. Got all those arms at your disposal? Use them! Excellent work. On we go. What happened here? The telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one either. The hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. Huh? Time. Let's get on with it. So, 
uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Huh. Almost there. Give it your all. The Prince of Pain. Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. A fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. this knocked get out of here you okay we are now spoke too soon i'm going all out just a bit too careful you want to talk you're on fire today what can i say Hey, what about the shack over there? Huh. Not yet. Got a plan. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. Skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of corners. That's so hilarious. Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. <sighs> Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Oh, yeah. We'll take care of it. Well, y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. Wise to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crowns Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. 
Even got a sweet insignia on him. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Huh. Shall we camp here? Let's call it a day. All right. Now we'll pitch the tent. Since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench with a sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Is it dangerous after dark around here? Most likely. We'd best ponder our lodgings as we go. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a door horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> Show those balls. Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Nothing to it. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken? Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. 
Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room in back. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explained its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. <laughs>